our lessons. An approach to disability inclusive disaster risk reduction from consultations with people with disabilities in the Asia and Pacific regions. Caroline Degani, Philippines. In my experience, of course, we have a lot of disasters here in the Philippines. Um, again, for example, we have a lot of typhoons going on um, in the Philippines. And of course, I'm not, I'm, I'm not aware about that because I can't hear anything um, on the news. And so uh, I would still go out, you know, when, when we're, uh, and if, you know, I, I plan to go out on a particular day and my, and my niece would say, no, you can't go out because, you know, there's an ongoing typhoon. And I was just reading the news that an earthquake has happened and not until they publish it um, like on, on social media that I'm aware that such disaster has happened. Um, there would be, of course, uh, the government would send out this SMS uh, announcements about particular disasters. But th those messages are in Filipino, and I could not understand a Filipino. And so basically, um, whether it's in television or um, on, on radio or, you know, in, in whatever form, uh, of course, we get paranoid uh, 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 because we, we, we are not aware. We are the last to know about what's going on. Carmen Kaliwaso, Papua New Guinea. There was a prediction from the, I think, national weather team in, in, in country that there was a tsunami. There were, there were going to be a tsunami hit, um, coming towards the Mosby. So um, I was in the house and, you know, people were running to and from and some even took buses and, uh, you know, get on the trucks and they were driving up the mountain to Sogari and it, re it really, you know, had a negative effect impact on my, my myself. I was thinking to myself, how would I, I survive if everyone think of themselves and they ran away, and if they leave me behind, because I was not getting information correctly. You know, as a blind person, I might run, I might come out of the house and run in the opposite direction instead of running to seek refuge. So there's some of the challenges that, you know, as responsible government or responsible agency that is taking care of, you know, um, managing the disaster and you know bringing out information disseminating disseminating information out to you know citizen to be aware we need to bring information in an accessible and inclusive way that everyone needs to absorb that information and be alert uh, when when the disaster strikes so including persons with disability so bishwamitra bitra koti nepal so two years back there was a uh, float in my community and my home uh, was taken away by the flood. As uh, being a deaf person, I, I was unknown about uh, the problem. I was unknown about what to do in those situations. Uh, I was not being informed about any kind of uh, uh, information given by the government on putting uh, the possibility on that part. The recommendations from this consultation will be used to ensure that people with disabilities are not left behind in disaster risk reduction activities.